five challenges international students face in the UK no one is talking about. Let's get into the video. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kolade. I mean, before diving into the video, I'd like to t let you guys know that this is actually based on what I've experienced and of course the information I've gotten for a few, from a few of my friends. So without even wasting any time, let's just get into it. And that actually leads me to the first one, which is relationship. I mean, <laughs> how do people do it in this country for real? To find love, no easy. You get. And it's actually something I'm saying for a fact. I mean, people are getting older i mean a few people in their mid 30s you know close to 40 no relationship no sign <laughs> to get and what can i say the country is just crazy it's designed in a way that you could just they also they also looking for you know bread looking for greener pasture do you get what i'm saying and you don't have time to do other stuffs i mean if you're my friend complaining to me and one of my friends particularly was saying oh he was meant to meet a girl i think in Manchester or something and do you know that the person, the girl canceled the, the, the appointment or the date about four times because she has to go to work. My guy, the para. What can you say? Omolomo. What if she could tell a landlord? What would she tell a landlord? That, uh, that she went on a date. Is that what a landlord will understand? And at the same time, there's a chance that it can also affect your chances of finding love because maybe you're actually putting more effort in work and all. What can I say? It's crazy. Another issue is the fact that many people are looking for commitment, you know, people want to get into marriages, etc. Why some people are just looking for fun. So the issue is what some people are looking for is not what's out there. Do you get? And you can't blame some people. Some leaders will make the mistake of thinking that someone that's just coming to the UK, Omolomo just finding his balance back in Nigeria, coming to this country, and you think he's ready to get married to you. But see, we see the carry shift with you. <laughs> Do you get? So another issue also is the fact that some ladies can have ego with respect to the fact that, oh, they are working, they are earning, or oh, they don't need you. Or I've met someone telling me that, oh, I can't date someone doing the same job I'm doing. The lady was actually doing care. She was like, oh, I can't date someone doing care. I'm like, really? How? I mean, the fact that the person is doing something now, don't underrate any job in this country. That's a fact fact. You can't underrate any job. Do you get cleaning anything as long as you are paying your stuff? And guess what? There's a chance that you don't know tomorrow. As long as the guy is striving hard, you never know. Do you get? So, I mean, these are a few reasons why I think some people are not finding the relationship they are looking for. And that leads me to the next one, which is making money. I mean, you have to make money. Like I was saying from the previous point, it's important or else you go suffer. Do you get? And of course, let's be clear. There's every opportunity for you to get what you're looking for as long as you're willing to also. But the issue I have is some people always work like once you fast shift, once you shift to four year alone, me, you go just they take shift, they take shift. And if you look at some of these people, the way they dress, they look tattered. Some people, I've seen people fainting. I've seen people that had to take two weeks off. They had to go to NHS because they are stressed. They are not okay. It just they work. Do you get? I mean, I'm not saying don't work, but your health is also very important. And do you know the issue I have with these people? After they work, work, work. You go ask them, say, oh my God, I, beg. I want to do something. I go return them back. These people are broke. They've sent all their money. Like, they spent everything. Or, they, I don't just understand. Maybe people should make me understand. What's the sort of working? You don't have a life. You don't have any. Just they work, they work. Do you get? So that's just the issue. I mean, making money is important, but your health is also very important. And always note that as you're hustling to make money and all, always have a strategic plan for the future. That's the issue some people have. They just want to stay on one position. They're just thinking about work, shift, and all. Money. You have to think about what you can do to advance yourself. And that leads me to the next one, which is making friends. I mean, I'd like to ask you guys, how do you guys make friends in this country? This same UK. This same UK. I've been in this country for about two years. No friend. I don't have friends. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have people that, yes, I have friends for the right occasion. For example, maybe I want to go partying maybe i want to play football maybe i want to go to the church maybe i want to talk about career all this kind of stuff but i don't have genuine friends you get like you get what i'm saying what can i say it's not my fault anyway and sometimes i'm selective let's be clear i'm not really so bothered about making friends but it's also like i don't care about it but maybe i'm not trying enough but my point is most people that I've actually seen, they are not really fitting into what I want. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some people genuinely want to be my friend, but it's me that's actually cutting it off. Do you get? But I mean, 
how do you guys do it? Some people have the mentality that, or the belief that you are here to, to also, you are here to actually, you know, face your education. Friendship is not important. But me, I still think at the end of the day, when you ha- you still have to go out, you know, at the end of the day, this thing also can affect your mental health. You don't have anyone, you just at home. Do you get? So, I mean, you need people to talk to. So, how do you guys make friends? That's one thing I want to ask. Another challenge international students face in this country which is very popular is finding a job. I mean, I even made a video about, I went on the street asking people what their experience has been dressed to getting a job and you know, you see people complaining. It's real. I mean, it's affecting people's mental health, for real. I myself, you know, the minute I came into this country, I just they apply, just getting rejected. There are even some companies, they are time wasters. They are not going to sponsor your visa. They just wait till they diamond and tell you, oh, unfortunately, unfortunately what? <laughs> can't you unfortunate it before now do you get some companies are time wasters i've been to a company before that the the application process is crazy interview too long they're still going to reject you anyway and they're even telling me to pay for training i'm like are you guys scammers are you crazy why would i pay you do you get you're meant to train me i don't get I understand that concept i have to pull out from the application getting a job in this country is not a joke I've seen a few people complaining about their mental health and everything. It's crazy. Every morning you wake up to unfortunately, unfortunately. I mean, the one that killed me the most, 2022, last year, fifth, I'll never, you know, I'll never forget. January, one of the top companies I want to work for. You know, I was rejected. You know, very crazy. I had to stay in bed two days. I <laughs> no bath. Didn't eat, didn't go to work, anything. So, I mean, finding a job is also very tough in this country. I mean, you need to talk to people. Basic mistake people make anyway is they don't network. Their CV is not standardized. They don't develop themselves. You know, they only focus on doing care, 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 care to fall here. You know, you do another thing. Not trying to, you know, develop yourself. Do you get not preparing for interviews, not understanding the job market, not understanding what role, of, what skill set you have and which role it fits. You just want to do, let my people go and follow, copy, copy, copy your friend, because your friend is doing marketing. All this kind of stuff anyway. But I mean, tell me, what do you think? How do you guys, how have you been faced, uh, you know, dealing with job rejections and etc.? That leads me to the next one, which basically all factors can affect this one. All factors I've actually mentioned. And this one is mental health. I mean, when I was in Nigeria, I really didn't understand what mental health was all about. If I'm just having an issue, I just believe, oh, la, la, la. In Nigeria, it's been in a way that, or more, you can't, or back in Africa, there's a way that you're a man, you're a man, you're a man, be a man. <laughs> be a man, be a man. You can't. Some men are committing suicide because they have mental health issues. They can't discuss with anyone because you'll be passive as they are weak. Do you get? Or maybe people you don't trust people, they'll mock you or something. Do you get? Like mental health is real. Do you get? It could be work, stress from school, even school, they'll give you assignments. You you're trying to go to work, you're trying to, you know, many stuff, expectation from back in Africa. Do you get? There's even this mentality that once you've traveled, you're already rich. Some people just start billing you. <laughs> like somebody just start billing you then i've seen instances where you give someone like 5k or 10k then the person be like oh my, this money is too small uh you owe you chief you get color of london <laughs> do you get like it's crazy so i mean mental health is real i've seen a few people like they are depressed for real people quit that say oh my, i know they, they just i've even heard of a guy his mental health issue affected him at work they had to sack him at work because it was, it was not really performing up to standard. They had to sack him at work. He was not performing at school. School at, He was failing school. I had to chase him back to Nigeria. So it's real. Listen, if you have mental health issue, kindly speak to people. You know, contact your GP. Talk to, you know, contact. Call the emergency service. Do you get what I'm saying? It's real. And my advice, if you are looking for a job or anything, you are getting rejected, stay away from it. What may I always do when I'm mentally down is I would just... The catch cruise, or uh, I, I can go partying, I can travel, you know, or maybe chill out with my guys. That's what I'm trying to say. So, I mean, you need to talk to people. Shout out to Bianca for singing the song. For the past five days, did you check on me? I mean, don't do drugs, don't drink alcohol, speak to people, and I believe you'll be fine. Share in the comment section what you think, what challenges you are facing as an international student, and of course, I'll see you in the next video.